de gasten, de Chinese gitariste Shu Fei Yang. Welcome, Mrs. Miss Fei. We're very delighted to have you here on our show. It's wonderful to be here. Thank you. You really have baffled the classical world. You have an impressive discography. And you're playing both classical and Chinese traditional music on guitar. Indeed, I play music from all over the world. So um, I would just say that I, I use classical guitar technique and I use that classical technique to play all kinds of um, different music. And you play, of course, like Spanish classical works also. So you combine, in fact, the bo both things. But mm -hmm. the guitar was not really a common instrument. It's not. It's still not yet in China. Not yet. Yeah. Um, it's better now. M many more people, young people especially, they show interest in the classical guitar or guitar generally. Um, the, the classical music is growing very fast in China. It mm -hmm. is said there are millions, 10 millions um, <laughs> kids learning piano, probably millions of people learning guitar too. So, but the mm -hmm. guitar in your time, it was more or less an exotic instrument. How did you come to play it? Actually, you know, during Cultural Revolu Revolution, guitar was regarded as hooligan instrument. <laughs> so when I was seven, and my parents, cause, because I was very energetic, so my parents wanted me to learn any instrument. They thought about accordion at first. Accordion? Yes. For an energetic child. <laughs> well, <Yeah. whoa. laughs> because accordion was very popular mm. during those days to accompany choirs, um, and it's not too expensive. So they talked to my music teacher in my school, yeah. and she said, oh, uh, accordion was too uh, heavy and too loud to practice at home, and she loves guitar. And she had a guitar group, so they just put me in. Oh, yeah. But at that time, I didn't even hear, uh, I didn't know about guitar at all. <laughs> so it's a new instrument for me. So, and where did you learn it? Because uh, there was no, not really a guitar tradition? No, but... Uh, um, my teacher, the first teacher, she was a very good teacher. To in, um, t she made me to enjoy playing guitar very much. And then soon they found that I, I learned much, much quicker than the other kids. Mm -hmm. So they brought, me, they brought me to the best guitar oh teacher yeah. in China. And I started uh, formal uh, lessons. Yeah. So Can you describe the cultural atmosphere at that time? It was quite difficult because guitar, uh, there, there wasn't a tradition for guitar. Um, and uh, to be honest, the classical music is from the West, so mm -hmm. mm, there wasn't a big audience and like m my parents, they just wanted me to learn an instrument and when I w decided I, want, I wanted to be a professional guitarist, they actually uh, against me oh, yeah. very, very heavily. Oh, they opposed against no, it? They, no, they, they, they like me to play it, but they, they didn't like me to be a professional mm -hmm. guitarist because they couldn't see any future of being a guitarist, so I had to fight. Um, yeah. back and uh, so and, uh, and I remember when I was a kid there was only maybe one proper music hall in Beijing and uh, not many concerts not many musicians uh, but now y I go back to Beijing there are many um, quite a few great concert halls and the audience growing um, so there's a big change yes, already big change. <laughs> Playing a Spanish instrument, it must, must have been something uh, not to play a traditional Chinese instrument. How does that affect you as a musician? Um, that is what I'm trying to do because uh, the guitar is a Western instrument um, and it has a big repertoire from S Spain. Mm -hmm. But uh, I feel that uh, because lots of Chinese instruments, they, they are plucked instruments. So like I the pipa. Yes, for example, a pipa. And, uh, 
as you said, people, both Bipa and the guitar are from Middle East at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So I feel that uh, being a Chinese... They have the same roots. Yes, so I feel like I wanted to bring some uh, music from my culture to this Western instrument. And also, more importantly, I feel that I'm always uh, um, surprised to hear some music played on guitar um, the guitar has a huge diversity. Diversity. It can play mm -hmm. lots of different style of music, and I feel it suits to Chinese music. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, a thing that that puzzles me is how are these? Because both things yeah. you can learn in the conservatory. Yes. Both traditions. Yes. How are they treated? Um, actually, I remember in the Central Conservatory where I, I went, there are half students there learning Chinese instruments and the other half learning Western instruments. Yeah. And we, we all um, attend like cultural classes, other classes together. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's very good uh, that we can learn each other's music, each other's... Um, so it was a good mix? And yes, it's very good. It's, uh, so, so although I actually can't play any inst Chinese instrument, but I hear it all the time, so it's... Uh, um, oh, yeah. I think Western music, they developed as a very serious artwork. Mm -hmm. But um, frankly speaking, Chinese music, um, which is still developing to be serious, so in a way, lots of instruments, instrumental music or lots of Chinese music, they still remain as a folkloric music, yes. so they're still developing. Uh, generally speaking, I think Chinese music very melodical, very free, um, like the paintings, yeah. but the Western music is more, more straight, more contrapunctual, um, mm -hmm. the structure is more complicated. Yeah. Yeah. Is it easy or possible yeah. or to, to put that typical Chinese soul into this Western instrument? It's not, it's not difficult to put the soul in, but it's not easy to transcribe some pieces because at, at the end of the day, there are different instruments. Mm -hmm. But because I'm being Chinese, so I know the music so well, I, I feel at home. And to you do the transcriptions yourself? Yes, yes. Okay. So, so, it, so it can be difficult, it can be not difficult, yes. You've studied uh, in the UK, in the yes. Royal Academy of Music. That yes. must have been a big step, yes. going from China, yes. Beijing, yes. to London. Yes, because I was think uh, I was taught a very good technique in when I was in China and I thought that guitar is a Western instrument. I wanted to learn the culture. I think the mm -hmm. cultural background, the musical atmosphere is very, very important yeah. than rather yeah. than just technique. And I chose London because I I thought that London is one of the um, musical culture, mm -hmm. um, one of the centers of music so i chose london to to go and yeah uh, and and what what did those years bring you musically so you had yes. the atmosphere and yes and a big difference uh to put it to put it uh, in a simple way mm -hmm. i think i learned how to play guitar in china and i learned how to perform music since i went to england well thank you so much Ms. thank Fain, you for being our guest thank you for having me